Welcome to the second episode of our 36th series, everyone. Amelia is still getting settled into her new place, so it's just me again for the opening and for the episode. We've got Adira Slattery back with us today where we create an additional 18 characters for tension. But before we get to that, just a few announcements. Or wait, do I have announcements? I mean, uh, there's my bi-weekly Chimera game at twitch.chimera.games at 7.30 p.m. Central Time every other Friday. Uh, and there's also Losers, A Love Story, the adaptation of Stephen King's It using Monster of the Week and Christine Priebus' supplement Back to Dairy on the A Horror Borealis podcast feed right here on the One Shot Podcast Network. I'm sure I could talk about how it'd be really awesome if you would leave us a podcast review if you haven't yet, uh, especially leaving reviews on Apple Podcasts in order to help us out in the rankings to help others find the show. But even leaving reviews on Podchaser or Stitcher and the like would help us out. I could talk about all that stuff uh, or just put links in the show notes. So... Uh, I guess we'll see what happens. For now, how about we get to the episode? Enjoy the show, everyone. Character Creation Cast Adira was creating a journalist investigator named Heather, while I was creating a driven murderer named Alexa. We're picking up right where we left off last time. Enjoy. So, uh, The Lovers is one of my cards uh, in constant passionate conflict. Uh, so I could have a spouse, a stripper, or a childhood friend. Okay. Uh, and... Uh, uh, I'm going to go with spouse because that's fun. Ooh. Okay. Um, so we've got uh, spouse for lover and I have the devil. They are enticing and free spirited. A workout buddy, an art dealer, or an ex. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm going to say workout buddy. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and how do they know each other? Yeah. Gosh, I want to say that they're workout buddies as well. Sure, yeah. Uh, on on the off days that uh, I'm not able to make it. Mm -hmm. So I would write, works out with the devil, which is just a fun <laughs> sentence. Uh, and I'm going to be naming my spouse. You know it. Yeah. Um, uh, and we already used Jennifer. Um, uh, let's go. Let's go Reagan. Uh they them for my spouse. All right. And then uh, my workout buddy is, um, let's see, Charlene. Mm -hmm. That's a fun name. Yeah, it is. Um, Diego. Charlene Diego. Nice. Uh, she, they. Mm -hmm. So then we have the chariot and the hermit. So the chariot's one of yours. Okay. So the chariot, they are courageous and careless. Um, a novice, a bike messenger, or ex-military. Okay. Goodness. I'm going to... Hmm. Bike messenger sounds fun. Bike messenger is, uh, is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to deliver these uh, flash drives. Yeah. So... Uh, then I'm going to go with IT guy for the hermit for me. Oh. Uh, they are so wise, but so alone. My other options I didn't pick were dealer and medical examiner. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. So th this almost sounds like a, a perfect uh, bike messenger delivers hardware to IT guy mm -hmm. relationship. Yeah. Okay. So who do we got for these uh, two folks? Um, 
I'm going to name my IT guy Billy. Mm. We're going to lean into IT guy and use he, him. All right. Um, and I'm going to have my mic by bike messenger's name be Brad. Uh, also he, him. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So then we have the son and the fool. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the fool is one of mine. Uh, they are innocent and reckless. Uh, my options are child, upstairs neighbor, and pet. Oh. Um, uh, people pick pet <laughs> so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, right. Yeah, it always makes me very nervous because um, I, I, like any of these orbits can die. Um, yeah. And it's like, oh, no, I don't want to kill your pet. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Now um, there there is a certain community where pet does mean a different thing as well. Yes, um, uh, uh, and that double meaning is 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 there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you told me that this was uh, a little more family friendly than I generally sort of am as a baseline person. So I was going to just sort of leave that there. <laughs> <laughs> now we didn't really define it exactly, uh, but there you go. <laughs> It's yeah, fine. no, yeah. If you want to do some pet play, uh, it's possible. Uh, we, yeah, dude, we, we, had, uh, we had uh, Lucian Khan on. Oh, for, oh of course. Yeah, yeah. Lucian's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah. And I believe my character was a pet, mm -hmm. um, if I remember correctly. Well, I'm pretty sure, isn't that that's a whole character type in Visigoths versus Small yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I was on the one shot episode. Um, mm, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fantastic game. <laughs> yeah. Lucian's a great designer. All right. Um, all right. But uh, I'm not going to go with Pat. No. Uh, even though we did all of those things. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Child. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this, for the Sun, I have Tech CEO, News Anchor, and Stockbroker. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Now I can see news anchor kind of being um an in to your character. Um, but I almost want to go uh tech CEO here. Mm. Um, because that would be really interesting too. Yeah. So how does this tech CEO know this know this literal child? Um they're they're literally uh uh parent and child. Yeah. It's got to be right. I mean, there there are all sorts of things you can do. You could do oh, yeah. uh, a mentorship. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you could do um, child friend or something like that. Uh, uh, neighbors. You could, all, all sorts oh, of things. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you and child, um, parent, mm -hmm. child. Now here is where those uh, relationship things on the character sheets can come into play, right? So. Mm -hmm. We have the fool being a child, and we know that it's the child of the sun, uh, but that orbit of child isn't very specific as to how they relate specifically to my character. Right. Uh, so I would go onto my character and relationship things and write something down in the fool if I so choose. Uh, otherwise, that can be defined just in play, because... Mm. Uh, only one of those relationship things is going to be filled out at the end of this process on your mm. own character sheet. The rest uh, get defined and codified as characters get introduced throughout play. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. But you so, have the option of filling out more if you want to at the start. Yeah. You can always do more work. <laughs> right. So uh, we've got this tech CEO and this child. Um, mm -hmm. Do we want to name these, uh, these folks? I like names. I like names too. Let's have the child's name be uh, Skyler. Let's go with uh, he. All right. Was that he, him for Skyler? Mm hmm. All right. And I'm going to go with, uh, I guess, uh, Zane Friedrich. Zane Friedrich. So that means Skyler is Skyler Friedrich, most likely. Yeah. Uh, and Zane is also he, him. Nice. Very cool. All right, what's next? We've got uh, six more pairs together, right? Uh, seven. Like seven. Oh, sweet. Because we're also in here. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll, we'll be hitting one of us in just a moment. Okay. Uh, 
but uh, we have one more pair before then, which is death and the hierophant. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So uh, death is one of yours. Yeah. Okay. So death, uh, letting go while clinging fast. Um, so this is a former cellmate, a patient, or a librarian. Mm. I'm going to go librarian on this one. That sounds nice. Yeah. And then for the Hierophant, uh, I have mentor, parent, or clergy. Mm. Uh, Easily perceptive, but stubborn. Uh, And I'm going to go with mentor. Nice. And what if my uh, journalism mentor is married to your librarian friend? Mm. I like that. Yeah. Married to death. (laughs) (laughs) all right uh let's see librarian um hmm. go with um janine uh she hurt and then for my mentor let's go with uh let's go with chance also she her nice we have a do we have a, a last name for these two um Wonderful people. Um, Parker? I like Parker. Okay. So the next pair we have is the Empress, which is one of yours, and the Moon, which is me. Oh, okay. Uh, so this establishes a relationship between whatever you pick as the Empress and my character. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so the Empress is very beautiful, yet similarly selfish. Um, and I have the options of Dom, uh, Dilettante, and Escort. Um, and uh, just because I am playing a, uh, a oh gosh, what is, what is that called? A gifted Dilettante in my personal Beyond the Wall game, mm-hmm. um, I'm going to pick Dilettante. Ooh. Have I perhaps done some stories about this uh, person? Like have I interviewed them? Oh, yeah, probably. And did the Empress like this interview? Yes. All right. Um, I, I think I, I think they were ecstatic about it. Mm-hmm. All right. So the Empress um, name will be, um, uh, I'm, you know, I'm just going to use the name of my Beyond the Wall character, Elena <laughs> sure. Swan. Uh, there we go. Uh, she, her. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then uh, we have the Magician and Temperance. So the Magician is one of yours and Temperance is one of mine. Temperance. Yeah. Temperance is uh, balanced yet fragile. Uh, and this is an assistant, a rehab buddy, or a doctor. Hmm. Uh, and I'm going to go with a rehab buddy. Okay. And for the magician, it says uh, they are creative but manipulative. Mm-hmm. Uh, and my options are pickpocket, lover, or professional. Uh, professor. Oh, yeah, professor. That's right. That makes more sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and this is a relationship to, uh, like, I know this person through something. Yeah, yeah. So this defines their orbit around you, right? Okay. So if they're a pickpocket, then you know them through sort of general crime stuff. You know them as a pickpocket. If they're yeah. a lover, then they're your lover. If they're a professor, maybe they're a former professor. Maybe mm-hmm. uh, maybe you're a college student. Maybe um, uh, they're a weird professor who lives down the street from you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to uh, say lover. Lover. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what was uh, what was the one that you had? Uh, rehab buddy. Okay. Mm-hmm. So how do they know each other? Um, do you have thoughts on this one? Uh, what if your your lover is my friend's sponsor? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna name my friend uh, Granite. Granite. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, Zeezer. Get some neo pronouns in there. Nice. Okay. Uh, the lover. Let's see. Got so many names out here already. I'm trying not to repeat any. <laughs> um, 
trying to think of like a good acronym name that's uh, kind of general ne- gender neutral. I don't want to use uh, MJ or JV because uh, they're two good friends of mine on A Horror Borealis. Hmm. What about uh, FB? FB? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Uh, so FB, my lover, um, they, them pronouns. All right. Now we're back to another relationship with one of the main characters. So we have the tower and the star. You are the tower. Uh, And the star for me is hopeful but insecure. Uh, It is a rookie, a third wheel, or a protege. Uh, And I'm going to go with protege. All right. So the tower, me being the the driven killer. Mm Mm-hmm. So you know the person who I'm, like, taking under my wing. Yeah. hmm Okay. How would I know that person? What if they're your sibling? Ooh. I like that. Yeah. Let's go with uh, brother. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about younger? Younger brother. Younger brother. Sure. Uh, let's name them Trip. Trip. Trip he him. I don't have a last name, so. <laughs> yeah, we didn't give ourselves last names for our for our for our own characters, so. Uh huh. And Alexa may not be uh, her actual name. Yeah. It could be though. Hmm. Uh. So. Uh. Let's do. Uh. A thing that we haven't done then, which is let's mark this relationship as secret. Ooh. Yes. Can you only mark uh, a few of them or one of them as secret then? or No, you can mark as many of them as secret as you want. Okay. <laughs> um, Very cool. Yeah. So secret relationship. Oh, where'd my check mark go? Mm-hmm. Just, it, it turned super tiny. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Um, and then this is uh, sibling to uh, the, the star. star. Yeah. Cool. All right. So next we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess. Hmm. The Wheel of Fortune is one of yours. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. my format. It's been thrown off. Oh, no. Using Notepad++ and I tabbed <laughs> over to like all the what what everything was. And now now the names of the things are too long. No, <laughs> it's fine. I'll just uh, go to the other line. There we go. Ah, oh, balance has been restored. There <laughs> well, we go. it's right and good, finally, in the world. Yep. <laughs> My spacing is correct. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Wheel of Fortune is mine. It says they are wholly unpredictable. Um, and it is assassin, phone scammer, and janitor. Ooh, that is an array yeah. of selections there. My goodness. Phone scammer is probably one of my favorite ones that I've written, mm-hmm. um, just because uh, not enough people interact with phone scammers. Yeah, it y- you don't think about it, but I mean, y- somebody, somebody's yeah. out there doing it. Uh huh. Uh, hello. I would like to talk to you about your car automobile insurance <laughs> running out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> That's one. So which one are you thinking? Ugh. Um, gosh. And this is uh, paired up with your high priestess. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say um an assassin. Nice. Well, uh the high priestess is uh, sensitive yet secretive, and I, I have the options of older sibling, receptionist, or elder, elderly neighbor. Mm-hmm. Um and uh, I'm gonna go with an elderly neighbor. <laughs> Love the nosy neighbor. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> and how does an assassin and an elderly neighbor know each other? Uh, um, I, I have something. Uh, sure, uh, go for it. What do you, What do you got? Hit me. Um, the uh, they're married. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's mark this one secret. Uh huh. Two. Oh, that's lovely. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that means that my neighbor is an assassin. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> at least an, one of them. An elderly assassin, uh, most yeah. likely at that. Uh, 
so I'm going to name my elderly neighbor Dot. She, her. Oh. <laughs> okay. I love it. Um, Dot. She, her. What are you thinking for the assassin? Oh, goodness. Um, I, w- I was kind of thinking of, um, like, uh, used to be uh like the femme fatale from like the old bond type uh yes. situations yes uh, only 40 years later yes <laughs> so um oh gosh it's got to be something like uh penny or penny's worth or you know something kind of i'm gonna go with penny penny yeah penny and dot uh she her pronouns mm-hmm I am very into <laughs> older <laughs> lesbian femme fatale. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, Retired with quotes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Dot might have also have been an assassin. Exactly. Yeah. And they, they might find have been on play. the job. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe they even tried to kill each other. That's very possible. <laughs> oh, now we have to play the prequel uh, yeah. with Penny and Dot. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, all right the next pair is strength and justice uh so justice is one of mine uh Mm -hmm. often fair but too quick to judge uh i have a best friend a private eye or a bartender um and uh, i'm gonna go with bartender nice um strength uh, they are passionate but prideful and I have the choices of handler, PTA mom, and celebrity. Um, and that is just fantastic. A PTA mom is a good <laughs> choice. It's very evocative. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Let's see here. Um, kind of between PTA mom and celebrity. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm going to go with PTA mom. Yeah, that sounds good. Um... And what would their relationship be? What if the bartender works for the PTA mom? Okay. The PTA mom uh, is also a small business owner. Hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to name the bartender Chip. And we're going to use he, they pronouns. All right. uh, PTA mom. Um, Hmm. And I'm just keep thinking back to... uh, Christina Applegate's performance in Bad Moms, <laughs> um, which was just fantastic and over the top. You could um, go with Christina. I think I think I have to. Uh, Christina. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, she, her. Hey, Ryan, we're on the last one. Oh, boy. Uh, it is The World and the Hanged Man. Ooh. So The World is one of yours? Yeah. Okay. Let me see here. The world. Spontaneous, but incomplete. Um, And I have the choice between student, taxi driver, and tattoo artist. Um, And I'm going to go with a student. Mm. And then for the hanged man, I have insightful but stuck in place. Uh, I have journalist, forensics, or younger sibling. Uh, And I'm going to go with forensics nice so how does my forensics buddy know your student friend hmm and are they a student and that they go to school or are they a student in that you're teaching them something Ooh. um uh why not both mm. um which tells a little bit more about myself there. yeah um mm-hmm. i'm gonna say that um they are a student at the university and um, the forensic specialist uh, did a, a guest presentation there. Mm, yeah. And uh, this student and them had a conversation after the presentation due to interests in forensics. Yeah. Guest meant lecturer and coffee buddy. Yeah. So that sounds like uh, your character teaches something. So this would be the perfect opportunity for you to fill in the relationship section on your sheet with the world. Okay. So one second. All right. Um, so 
where am I going here then? Relationships, right? Mm-hmm. And for the world? Yep. Uh, so what do I what do I put here? Uh, you'd put what you teach them. Oh. Um gosh, is it is it as uh cliche as criminology or <laughs> it could be, yeah. <laughs> uh I'm gonna go with that. Criminology. <laughs> there we go. Look, sometimes it's fun to lean into tropes. Yeah. Criminology teacher. Cool. And then we need to come up with uh names for the student in forensics if we want. Yeah, let's let's do that. Why why stop now? Mm-hmm. We did come up with names for everyone else. <laughs> we really have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my forensics buddy is going to be named uh, Hugo. Nice. Hugo Gomez. Hugo Gomez. All right. And I am going to name the student Mandy Tripton. Nice. Um, They she. Sounds good. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of characters. Yeah, that's everybody. So we just came up with uh, 22 people, came up with uh, 11 relationships in between those 22 people, uh, specified two uh, sort of relationships uh, on those orbits, um, and uh, we have a, a nice complicated web, uh, and now they're gonna all going to start dying. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so that's that's the thing is that sometimes people when I talk about tension they're like how do you manage all of these characters? I'm like, well, <laughs> they start dying. <laughs> that's how you manage them is you oh, kill no. them. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, uh my my poor babies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, it's 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 wonderful because doing this process and making all of these characters, you get really attached to them, right? Like, mm -hmm. like I have a lot of like feelings for like Dot and Penny, and yeah, like uh, uh, I think that the relationship between uh, uh, Alexa and uh, uh, the student Mandy um, mm -hmm. uh, is super interesting, and yeah. uh, my spouse. Uh, is just like one level of separation away from you. You all go to the same gym. Yeah, <laughs> that's very true. Yeah, and and have probably worked out together. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious. Yeah. The, the what what a tingle web we weaved. Exactly. <laughs> that's amazing. Um. Yeah, and then. It just kind of goes from there. And then I've got, I've got a sibling mm -hmm. that I have to worry about. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this all sorts of interesting stuff going on here. Because also when we talk about people dying, right? Like, like your character is, is, is the playbook is called the killer. Sure. Yeah. Like your character is probably going to be killing people. Yes. Um, but, uh, anyone can kill anyone. Okay. So it's kind of like a like a murder mystery almost entangled in a uh in a romance effectively but the mystery is not really there. Yeah, it's more dark comedy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. There's actually a specific mystery element that a lot of people assume there's going to be intention uh that there isn't uh which is that uh after the first scene Mm -hmm. The investigator and the killer know who each other are. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, 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 I personally wanted to avoid uh, uh, sort of encouraging people to role play lying and gaslighting to each other. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I just took that out. Yeah. No, might as well. Mm -hmm. um, and you can probably have some some intrigue and stuff in there, uh, especially. Uh, you can have so much intrigue still. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, when everything's in the open and, and I'm a huge fan and proponent of, uh, uh, out of character conversations. Mm -hmm. That's the other the part about thinking about this game, not as GM list, but as GM full, mm -hmm. um, uh, is that, uh, it's, f it's fun sometimes to sort of reveal these things out of character to each other and yeah. then play through your characters realizing these things. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm currently editing, um, a horror Borealis's, uh, take on Stephen King's it. 
Mm, um, yeah. They're playing through Christine Priebus's, uh, uh Back to Dairy supplement for Monster of the Week. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, the amount of like table talk and care in between scenes of setting up like these really intense and like very thoughtful uh, scenes and then improving through those scenes uh, is mm-hmm. just remarkable to see. Um, and, and doing that for horror and doing that for uh, it's technically romance in some respects as well. I mean, it's mm-hmm. losers, a love story. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I see that working very well for almost any game and especially a game like this where uh, romance and murder are uh, at the forefront of the discussion. Yeah. Wonderful. Awesome. So we created 22 characters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was pretty painless. It really was. Um, I really like the the uh, the pairing of the, the different uh, arcana and, and figuring out relationships from there. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you, Adira. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, this tension character creation episodes that we have here now with 22 fantastic people that uh hopefully we're not too attached to <laughs> <laughs> oh uh Adiri, do you want to remind people where they can find you online yeah uh so you can find me online on twitter at adira slattery uh you can find my games at adira.itch.io uh i own adira slattery.com uh and uh I want to make it a better website, but I just haven't yet. Um, and uh, otherwise, uh, just Google Adira Slattery. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. And we will also have links in the show notes. Uh, well, thank you again for joining us. And thank you to everybody out there for listening. And uh, please join us on the next episode for our discussion block. Yeah. This is probably the most character creation dense series that we've had to date. Uh, 22 characters was a trip, and we somehow managed to name all of them uh, and actually give them all pronouns, which was which was really, in the end, n- not that painful. It was pretty painless. Um, I don't think I have any calls to action right now. Uh, I know I have been uh, pretty exhausted lately, uh, and I'm sure Amelia is likely in the same boat. Uh, But we are both extremely thankful that you've chosen to listen to us. And we really do hope that we've brought a bit of joy to your day. So uh, sincerely, thank you. Uh, We are hard at work for the next couple of series or so. We've got a couple people uh, potentially lined up for recordings. uh, And uh, it is such a joy making this for all of you. Uh, And we really hope that you have a lot of fun listening. So uh, please, please join us again next time. Tension gets uh, this. This series gets amazing. Next episode, um, we go into some uh, fantastic places uh, in the fanfic portion that I think you're going to really like. So all of that out of the way. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and keep making those amazing people. We'll see you next time. Character Creation Cast is a production of the One Shot Podcast Network and can be found online at www.charactercreationcast.com. Head to the website to get more information on our hosts, this show, and even our press kit. Character Creation Cast can also be found on Twitter at CreationCast or on our Discord server at discord.charactercreationcast.com. I'm one of your hosts, Ryan Bolter, and I can be found on Twitter at Lord Neptune or online at lordneptune.com. Our other host, Amelia Antrim, can be found on Twitter at Ginger Reckoning. Music for this episode is used with a Creative Commons license or with permission from the podcast they originated from. Further information can be found within the show notes. 
Our main theme music is Hero Remix by Steve Combs and is used with a Creative Commons license. This podcast is owned by us under Creative Commons. This episode was edited by Ryan Bolter. Further information for the game systems used and today's guests can be found in the show notes. If you'd like to leave us a rating or review, we have links to various review platforms out there, including Apple Podcasts, in our show notes. Also, check the show notes for links to our other projects. Thanks for joining us. And remember, we find that the best part of any role-playing game is character creation. So go out there and create some amazing people. We will see you next time. We gotta read some show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Character Creation Cast is hosted by the One Shot Podcast Network. If you enjoyed our show, visit oneshotpodcast.com where you'll find other great shows like Asians Represent. Asians Represent celebrates Asian creators and diversity in the gaming community. Join hosts Agatha Chain and Daniel Kwan as they discuss gaming, genre, and representation with their guests, and occasionally argue with each other to the sound of Agatha's beloved Airhorn app.